Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is a bit different and it feels like a homecoming and a full circle moment since I will be sharing with you about my curly hair journey. Most of you here on this channel probably came from the Luxy hair days, so this feels very special talking about hair again and brings me back to the beginning of my YouTube journey talking about hair. So the intention for this video is for me to share, you know, my entire journey with my hair and my relationship with my hair in hopes that it can inspire and plant some seeds for you as well perhaps to go the more natural route uh, and so my hair in general my hair texture when I was a little girl was straight and I'm not really sure what causes you know what in our body causes hair texture and whatever happened maybe I assume it's hormonals I've never actually researched and looked into it it would be interesting to find out my curious mind um, hungry for knowledge always getting back to the topic my hair when I was a teenager I believe started to change so I believe it's hormonal if you know the answer please let me know and it turned from being straight to having a wave and like a curl and it became really frizzy so I remember this was I don't know how old we were we must have been young teenagers with my sister Mimi as you know again those of you who came from the Luxie hair days know that we started the Luxie hair channel sharing about hair and hair tutorials and we had the Luxie hair extensions and so back in the day as far as I know at least when we were growing up in Azerbaijan Baku there was no flat irons so we really wanted to have straight hair and we would do something absolutely crazy <laughs> I can't believe we used to do this and let me know if you also did this uh, because I did I've heard of some people doing this as well when they were in their early teenage years we would take an actual iron that you use to iron your clothes and we would iron our hair we would literally put it on the ironing board and iron our hair because we really talk about brainwashing and beauty standards right we really wanted to have flat straight smooth hair and so that is kind of how my journey with hair began it began by fighting what i had and trying to make it something that it wasn't not only that but i also really didn't like the color of my hair and i always wanted to be blonde so i've experimented throughout my hair journey with all kinds of hair colors and blonde and that did not work with my skin tone at all it did not look good at all so eventually i landed on like kind of brown reddish brown i've had highlights all kinds of stuff and i realized over the years that all of that processing and heat damage really dried my hair and so it was completely stripped of any moisture and for hair to be healthy it really needs to be hydrated especially naturally uh, wavy curly hair it tends to get more dehydrated and so my journey started with fighting the hair fighting what i had fighting the color fighting the texture over the years my hair became wavier i think and frizzier because likely now that i know it was due to the you know the dehydration of the hair so interestingly my hair texture changed during pregnancy and it lost some of its curl some of its wave that's what actually gave me the idea that it was hormonal um, the texture of the hair it comes from the hormones eventually the curls did come back once i believe the hormones balanced out in my body and the first thing towards the more natural route was my decision to stop coloring my hair so that was around seven years ago and I'm so happy I did that less chemicals less hassle nature knows the natural hair at least on me works and makes me feel really good and eventually I also just this more you know the progression towards embracing and loving yourself exactly as you are internally all aspects of yourself of course 
you know flows out into the external parts of yourself as well with your body with you know all parts of you so eventually it started feeling like just too much effort to blow dry the hair so as i started sharing about the flat ironing of the hair right with the with the, the actual iron eventually i graduated to blow drying it trying to smooth out the frizz that way for years and years and years and at some point that felt like too much effort and too much trouble as well and it just didn't resonate anymore it just felt like i was putting so much effort time and energy into something to be something i'm not you know and i with all of the kind of time i would spend going internally and sitting with myself and getting to know myself i realized that was again another manifestation of not embracing who you are as you are and so I decided to embrace my natural curls. However, by that point, my hair was already so damaged from the heat. At that point, I haven't used hair coloring, chemicals and processing in a while, but it was super frizzy from constantly applying heat with the blow dryer. And, you know, I, I was hoping that my natural curls would come back. And what I realized that it wasn't gonna be so easy that I would have to restore and bring those curls back to life. And so I've been sort of on this journey and researching and, and wanting to understand and work with my hair so that I could truly allow my curls to be there, to reach their highest potential and to be these, you know, hydrated, beautiful, voluminous, wavy, curly self that they, they used to be. If you've been following me for a while, then you might already know that I love making products, beauty products with my own two hands. It's so much fun. It's one of my passions, you know, one of my favorite products that I love and use. I've been using for years is a whipped body butter that I have a recipe for. I can link that in the description. You can check that out. So I've been just using oils and body and like butters on all over my body pretty much from my face to my skin and now I wanted to go that same route for my hair so I started using and researching different types of oils and I tried to play around with jojoba and almond oil and it just didn't really feel right they would create different results jojoba for my personal for my hair it personally made it more greasy looking and almond oil just didn't feel like it was giving the hair you know what it needed so somehow some way i got guided to or intuitively found or i don't know the universe brought it into my reality and awareness i found rosehip oil and so that is what i have been using for probably five months now maybe something like that and i apply the rosehip oil so after the shower right the only product that i use in my hair is rosehip oil or was rosehip oil that i started using to from between the mid to end shafts i just like put it into my palms i rub it between my fingers and i just kind of work it into the ends and that's all i do now in the morning when you wake when i wake up my hair needs to be with curly hair you kind of you know after you sleep it gets frizzy and kind of not doesn't look very as good let's say as it does at least in my opinion right now and so to bring it back to this state what i do is i spray it with water and this is such a useful spray bottle for the hair that i've had for years and years i went to hair school actually and that's where i you know found this bottle from it creates like a nice mist i don't know if you guys can see that yeah so so instead of like a harsh spray that regular spray bottles have this creates like nice misty spray so i i section my hair i spray it with water and then i apply the oil and my hair was so so dry and so dehydrated at when i first started and over time using the rosehip oil has really brought my waves and my curls back to life and i am i just so appreciate nature i appreciate that i found my way to back to nature essentially back to embracing you know my natural color and natural texture of my hair and i am slowly rebuilding the you know bringing back the curls bringing them back to life hydrating the hair 
as I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera but they are exactly kind of starting to look like what I have been envisioning it's actually on my vision board there I just really love the look of curly hair and the feel of curly hair now and I can't believe that you know when I was younger I fought against these beautiful curls because again right we buy into these beauty standards that we kind of are bombarded with and conditioned with as we grow at least when I was growing up and so I just am really I appreciate myself for this journey and for now embracing myself exactly as I am within and without and I'm actually now also starting to grow some gray hair or white hair is starting to come in and I've decided that once it starts to fully come in I am going to embrace that as well and maybe one day I'll change my mind but for now I would embrace the silver look and uh, just see how it feels for me it always has to do with what it feels like and just navigate through this human journey with my intuitive guidance so now I am so happy and so satisfied with how my curls are slowly coming to life and then I put out this request to the universe that I wanted to now figure out why my hair isn't growing fast enough and so I haven't done all the research yet so just when I put out that request I manifested or, or drew to me this new product that I will share with you that I've just started using Using, and one of my followers actually reached out to me and she shared her journey with you know the her, her journey with hair loss postpartum hair loss and how that led her to creating her own hair oil and you know like I shared with you right I already am just obsessed with natural products and oils and so as soon as I heard the hair oil I knew that I wanted to try it because one of the benefits of using this oil is faster hair growth so when she reached out to me and wanted to you know have me try it I jumped on the bandwagon immediately and so I just wanted to share with you this product I've only been using it for two weeks so I obviously it's not enough time to know if the hair is growing faster or not because I believe with that you need you know at least two to three months to really tell a difference but even if it doesn't make the hair grow faster it's it feels so good to treat your scalp so this is a blend of all natural handmade cruelty free you know small business uh, it is not sponsored by any means she just launched her her product and I wanted to share it with you because the results that some of the customers are getting with hair loss issues and scalp issues itchy scalp all that kind of stuff apparently it helps with that I don't have any of those issues so I can't vouch for that but in general I love using Using oils for like I mentioned hair skin body all of that so I have been really enjoying using this oil on my scalp for the last couple weeks and I'm excited to see if it actually generates a faster hair growth so yeah it just feels really good it smells really good it's a blend of 11 natural oils and it feels awesome so the combination of these oils is literally the only two products that I use on my hair besides shampoo and conditioner I am eventually going to look for natural alternatives for that as well but that's a project for another day so so far that is what my hair routine I wash and condition my hair and when it's wet I apply the rosehip oil and in the mornings I when I wake up I will revive the curls with water and the rosehip oil and then once a week I started massaging this beautiful blend of oils into my scalp and it just feels so luxurious and I really can feel that my hair is just happier it's more hydrated the curls are coming back to life which makes me feel so good and one more thing is not only did I stop using you know the blow dryer but I stopped using heat altogether so what I do is I allow my hair after the shower and after I do the, the oil I let it air dry and in the mornings when I revive it with the water I also let it air dry it does take longer to dry obviously and sometimes on a colder day it doesn't feel so pleasant however I am really in like this rehabilitation phase of bringing my hair back to life and kind of rehydrating my hair so to me it's worth it staying away from heat altogether sometimes if I'm really cold I will use like I will just stand next to a heater and allow that 
kind of peep to gently dry the hair but generally speaking it's either if it's a sunny day I'll sit in the sun and let the sun dry my hair or just air dry and the combination of you know I think avoiding color and processing and avoiding heat and just using no chemicals in my hair has made a tremendous difference in bringing back the health of my hair and bringing the curls back to life so that is all i wanted to share with you in this video so i hope that it inspires you as well to you know look at your relationship with your hair as well be it the color or the texture or the styling methods or the products that you use and if it feels good go the more natural route because I don't know for me it just feels it just feels good you know it's more effortless it's just how nature intended it so thank you so much for tuning in if you found the video helpful leave a comment and share it with your friends and I appreciate you I love you and I will see you in the next video bye